Hi guys! Today I'm gonna show you how I made this tool dress for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna show you the steps I took. Um, just more or less the background um, scenes and you'll see how I made it and yeah I hope you like it. So starting out, I bought some pink, well, sweet pink soft tool of around seven or six meters. I can't remember clearly. So I cut it out into three strips of a uh, width of 10 inches each. So these pieces I'm going to sew on the sewing machine. I'm going to sew on the the edge of the length of each strip and i'm going to be creating the gathers as i sew so um one method other people use is that they use a straight stitch and um use on the settings on the sewing machine the the longest um length for the straight stitch and they will sew along the length of the fabric um, as they desire or which one they like and then afterwards they will grab the thread at each end of the fabric and pull pull the fabric and it will create um, gathers as you pull the thread so I'll show you that method one day but the one that I prefer which is faster is gathering the fabric so I prefer gathering the fabric on the sewing machine as I sew along. So this is how they came out. And what I did is that I doubled up the fabric again. So it can be even more thicker. Now I'm going to be doing the, the, well, it's part of the lining, but it's the dress I'm going to put inside. So these are the patterns that I created. Um, I'm going to make a video one day showing you how I make patterns. But right now, these are the patterns that I make, simple patterns of the bodice. Um... And yeah, um, if you want to, you know, make your own patterns or you know how to, you know, get patterns and be able to make these of your own, I'm rather start by buying them. And um, where are mine? So. Here's like an example of, you know, um, a pattern that I've bought. So you could use this template and because it's more or less the same thing here. Yeah. It's just that, let's say for this outfit, um, it doesn't have like this um, long skirt. It's just, you know, up to here. And then um, the bodice, which is this. Um, this one is well, well, it's um, it's a cutout, but then um, this one will be joined to the the dress like this one here, and then over here you can create a deep, you know, a deep line like I did a deep V, like I did here, because here it um it goes you know more straight, but I made sure that I you know cut more you know a deep define. Um, front bodice so um, in order for you to get like the V to you know align and be you know a perfect V I would say that you should for example look here I fold the fabric in half I folded the fabric in half and then I took the pattern and then I cut it out 
you know for the deep V um, effect and then when you open it this is what it creates so so this is what it creates when I cut it out you know the V is more defined so um, practice you know with simple sewing patterns first and then you know as you go you want to you know um, challenge yourself and get more challenging patterns but I suggest you also you know buy yourself patterns tweak them up you know tweak them a bit here and there you don't have to do it exactly as it is for like example this jumpsuit you could make it short um you you could do a, lot, a whole lot of things um you know about it you can do um a skinny leg you don't have to do a wide leg um experiment you know manipulate the patterns and just you know have fun with them so yeah i just wanted to share that you know back to the sewing so i'm gonna join the pieces together this is the back of the skirt these pieces will go at the back of the skirt there's two so there's two of each on the skirt and then there's there's two pairs of each pattern so this is going to be the lining and um, we'll be while well, using I'll be using um, um, let's say I'll be doubling it up let me put it that way because the fabric is very soft and I want it to be more durable um, it is a bit stretchy, which is good, but I want it to be, you know, um, be more a little stiff, if I may put it that way. So, um, I'm going to start by joining um, one piece and the bodice and then joining the other piece together. And then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to combine all the pieces.
So in this part, I'm just sewing together all the separate pieces, the two skirts um, that I just cut out and the two bodices that I just cut out. So I'm just sewing on all the different um, pieces on the stage. So this is how the outer bodice looks. Usually you would add um, boning to the dress. But because this is my dress and I ran out of boning, I won't be. And I think that the, the interfacing is strong enough to, to hold the, the width of the tool. But you should use boning, or I suggest you use boning. Um, maybe I should have used boning for this thing, but this is the first time making this dress, so. As you can see, I've already joined and sewn on the bottom part of the skirt to the top part of the bodice. And right now, I'm just creating a top stitch on the outer side of the, the outer lining. So it can, you know, give it a neater look and, you know. So here are the two um, pieces when they are all sewn um, together and so now I'm just going to join both of them. I'm going to start joining them at the top part of the bodice and I'm going to sew along on the areas that I place the pins. So I'm just going to create just a straight stitch along the bodice. Um,
So over here, you can see that I am sewing on both of the pieces. I'm just going to join them together on the top on the top edge of the bodice. So I'm just removing the pins as I go. So I'm just going to do that. So as you can see, all the pieces are joined together for the lining and I'm just flipping it over, just fixing it, just cutting off the excess, you know, fabrics um, and after that, I'm just going to pin it together so I can create a top stitch. So we're nearly done with the lining dress. We are nearly done. Right now we're just going to add the zip to the back and this is how it will look afterwards. So I've placed the lining on to the dressing doll and I have made three lines, actually two lines, on the dress already. I know I didn't show that part but you can't see it but I can. That's how I can, you know, pin the fabric in um, in a perfect line. Um, so what I'm doing is just pinning along the tool on the dressing doll. So I'll also be doing it on the waist area as well. And the last, um, the last tool strip that I'll be placing it is going to be on the top bodice area so um now that i think of it I actually think i used 12 meters of tool because i just got the slip so um i don't know why i mean six it's actually 12 meters of tool because this was actually a lot of tool actually because i i gathered it Like I said, I gathered the fabric and on top of that, I doubled it up. So it was actually more than seven. It was 12 meters. Sorry, guys.
I just wanted to add that you could actually try this at home with um, um, you could try it with a boob tube dress or a bondage what is it a bondage dress and just find tool and gather it and um, you could sew it on um, unlike me who started it from fresh so it's an also another alternative if you want to um, upcycle your clothing or if you have like a, a boob tube dress that is a bit outdated you can spice it up and just sew on some two on it I'm taking off the dress um, from the mannequin. Yeah, some of the pins are attached to the 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 doll because of the the cover up. So I'm just making them loose a bit and just trying to get it out. So after this step, I'm going to be moving to the sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing all the pieces of the tool onto the um, lining that I created the, the first dress which is inside. Finally. It's cooperating. So we're going off to the sewing machine, guys. I'll see you after this. So because your friend, I can your boning. So plan B is to 
put in some illusion um, fabric to make the dress um, on the bodice to be a little bit um, tighter yeah so that would help a bit and for those that don't want to show you know cleavage you know too much can you know we could use this as also an alternative so one thing i like about this fabric that it you know you can't really see it but it supports so yeah, i'm gonna put that sandwich it between the tool fabric So on this step you can see that I've already sewn on all the pieces um, the illusion um, fabric was kind of like a soft tool um, itself like a bit of um, a stocking fabric dependos the fabric dependos yes so um, I've joined the the tool with the lining the lining dress and right now what i'm doing is just pinning on the elastic um pinning it on the area um for the the, the off the shoulder area that's what i mean and i'm just going to be stretching out the fabric and i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and just sew on So on this stage, I'm just sewing on the elastic on the off the shoulder area. So I'm just going to sew it along that area that I measured earlier on when I placed um, the tool dress on the mannequin on the um, the. So I would also advise you to like every time you sew on um, an elastic, especially on a fabric like this when it's gathered, um, to use the zigzag method. So it makes the elastic um, more flexible compared to if you create a straight stitch.
Hey guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Unkar.